well, that's not good. We should probably get that put back together. Now, let's see. I, I see other people try this. Does this work? Huh. I guess that doesn't work. Guess we'll have to actually use them tools and put her back together. So we got hay silage down for tonight for the cows. Well, we got it halfway put in. We got the bearing holder on this side tightened up for the impeller. Now we just got to put that bearing on, lock the collar, and uh, go ahead and put the paddles in. All right, so we got the bearing holder on that side put in. And this one, put all the bolts in. Just got to finish tightening up these bolts. Now, oh. got all those carriage bolts in. She spins over real nice. Now we just got to put this lock collar here on this bearing because it's an eccentric bearing. So put that on. And then you have to lock the collar the way the bearing turns with a with a punch. So being that our blower turns this way, we're actually going to take a punch, go in that little lining hole right there, and give it a whack, and lock the collar, and then, uh, get some light here for you, tighten up that set screw right there. So, that's what I'm going to do, but I only have two hands and nobody to hold the camera, so check back in with you. Okay, now we got our bearings tightened up, collar locked, set screw tight. We got to put these cupped blower paddles on. That goes inside here on your arms, and they're slotted in adjustment. That's what actually throws the feed out of the silo, propels it up the chute, over and out the door. So those have to be put on and actually adjust the clearance in this area right here. The old timers always said you should be able to set a nickel and a dime down there, take a nickel, leave the dime for clearance, but uh, we're not going to do that today up here in the silo. We're just going to put them on and get them till they're just snug and then tap them back a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's how we're going to do it for time's sake and well, yeah. So here we are, I got the second paddle put in. So I got it just snug. I can still move it if I need to. So we're going to put it down here. We're going to turn it. Yep, it hits there. That's the first paddle. That one's adjusted, but now you can see the second one. better. Yep, see right there. It it hangs up. It's pretty snug there. And that's not good. We could wear a hole through our rear blower assembly. So I gotta tap this one down just a hair and then try it again, tighten it back up. Oh, I just gave it a tap. We're gonna Try it again, see how she goes. That's where it hung up a little bit right there. Good. Ooh, now she goes pretty free. So I might actually tap it back out just a hair and try it again. Well, I tapped it back out a little bit and went right back to hanging up. So gave it just a little tap back in and Pretty happy with it. It'll 
It's a lot better than the old paddles. There was quite a bit of gap right here in this area where it wasn't wasn't helping it throw the feet out all the way. It was letting too much drag, too much feed getting between the paddles, so lose momentum to get it up and out the spout. adjusting the paddles up and had them all spinning free, not hitting, but just clearing. <laughs> so now I've just got to put this cover on. I just got it set up there. Got to put some bolts in all these holes here on both sides, tighten it up, spin it over, make sure the paddles don't hit the cover. And then, uh, yeah, just put our belt on, put our belt on the pulley here from the motor. Put our shield back on and we should be ready to run some silage down for the cows. I'll check back in with you. We've got our brandy new cover here on. Tightened up on both sides, ready to roll. Give her a spin. She really doesn't make any noise, which is good not clunking, hammering, so I think we're ready to put our belt on and uh, we'll give her a try. I'll clean up my mess here. Got nuts, bolts, tools, pick up, pails, stuff to send down the chute and we'll, uh, we'll give it a try. All right, so here we are. We got the guard back on, belts on. We're ready to roll here. Give her a try. So we'll, we'll come around to the other side, the silo loader here. Go on the opposite side of the auger. Silo loader will go that way. Stand here, kind of out of the way. I actually have a box, control box here, a switch button. Goes down to the big main switch in the feed room so I can run the silo loader I'm up here. So. We'll just give it a little try here, see if she throws down, doesn't make too much noise. Here it goes.
We'll call that a win for the day.